Hey guys. Um, yeah, we got married the first day that it was possible, June 17, 2008. That was a great day. We've been together for 14 years, um, so legal too. Um, you know, a lot of a lot, I hear from the community a lot. Of what, why do we need marriage rights? Uh, because I don't want to get married. But we got to remember, it's not about whether you want to get married. It's about the fact that we should have the right to get married. Um, nobody would suggest that you take marriage away from straight people just because some don't want to get married. So don't fall into the trap of some gay people who say, you know, we don't want to be like straight people. We don't want to live that traditionally. Um, we just want to have the right available. So that's really important. Um, I wear this every day. It says civil rights or civil war. And I wear that to remind me that even though we have rights, although we only have state rights, we don't have federal rights, which is another 1,100 rights, um, that it's really important to keep fighting. Um, uh, this is not about love. We're all allowed to love. This is about civil rights. So we need to remember that. We need to bring up the Constitution a lot and how we should all be equal. And we don't have to agree with each other, but we should all have the same rights. Um, and this being Harvey Milk Day, I remember when Harvey Milk was killed. I was 17. Um, and it was a very different time for gay people, transgender and bisexuals at that time in the late 70s. Um, in one way, we had come a long way and we were gaining a lot of political ground. In the other way, it was not very easy to get out of the closet. Um, I was still in the closet at 17, um, but it was really, really strange when Harvey Milk was killed, especially right before he was killed when he was dealing with um, Prop 6, which was the Briggs Initiative that was trying to get uh, gay school teachers fired and anyone who even agreed with gay school teachers could be fired. And that failed, but it was interesting to hear the adults at the time talk, even people in my own family, about they weren't that comfortable with gay teachers either. Um, so we have come a long way, but this, this is the, the last major stumbling block to civil rights in this country is gay marriage. Um, and there are other things like don't ask, don't tell, of course, but this is the, the real thing that will break ground. So um, glad you're all here, glad you're gonna canvas. Thank you very much, keep it up. Good morning, everybody. I'm the more romantic one out of the Um, I tell you why I think it's important that you guys are going to go out today and talk to people in the community about the last bastion of civil rights in this country that is being taken from people. Every day when I'm out and about, anytime I'm at a store, anytime I'm at anything, and somebody sees the ring on my finger, it makes me very, very proud that I had the opportunity to marry the person that I love. The person that changed my life and changed me. I became a better man when I was able to be with this man because he makes me want to be the person that I, I can be to make him proud. And part of being married is being able to look every day at this man and say, that's the man I love. And when I'm out and about in the community and people say, oh, you're married. And I say, yes. And they say, what's your wife's name? And I'll look them right in the eye and I say, my husband's name is Chris. And they stare at me for just a brief little second and then they're like, oh. <laughs> and it's really interesting now because there are a lot of places that I go to, like Save Mart, where the people that know me there are like, how's Chris? How's your husband? And I watch for the reaction from the people around us. And it's becoming a more positive reaction in the last year than it used to be. It used to be I, I get really strange looks, but now we're getting much better looks, more accepting, and it's it's like turning that little corner, but you, you have to go out there, you have to talk to people, you have to promote this because you have to bring the hope to everybody. And I, I want everybody to have the same feeling that I have when I look at him. I can still catch my breath sometimes when he walks in a room. And that's something after 14 years, that's amazing. But to be able to celebrate it and have it be legal, and to be able to emphatically say to somebody, my husband's name is Chris, that fills me with so much pride and it gives so much hope, I think, to other people because I'm not ashamed to say he's my husband. And I will say it to anybody who asks. And it's important that we all have that right and it's important that we all have the ability to look at the person we love and say, I want to be with them for the rest of my life. <laughs>
You don't have what? I own half his stuff. <laughs> and I own half of yours. <laughs> but anyway, it's really important, and I, I'm really glad that you guys are out there today canvassing. And you're going to encounter some opposition, but just remember, years ago, the type of opposition we were facing was much more horrible and brutal. And now, hopefully, we can change the minds and change the lives today. And you guys are a big part of that. And I thank you very much for doing that. Gosh, I'm sitting on to Scotty for being a blubbering mess, and here I am.